I'm Mindy Metter, and I work at Cuyacasin Middle School. This is our ESL sheltered math class, so it's a combination of 6th, 7th, and 8th graders that are all level 1s and level 2 ESL students. And this is Ms. Sikic. She's the ESL teacher that's shared between Cuyacasin and Tuckahoe. Today we're going to talk about functions. We're going to pick up with where we left off last week. We were doing functions and tables and graphs. So last week, everybody, we did just graphing. So we took a table and we graphed the points. And on Friday, we took a rule and we kind of completed the table. So today, we're going to pick up with that. We are going to finish filling in the table. And then we're going to end up graphing them because they're all connected with each other. Okay, So we're going to do the connection between the table, the graph, and the rule. <coughs> so if we look at the first one, y equals negative x. So this one's a tricky one to start with. What do we know about negative x? It's a negative. It's a negative. negative. And I would write on your paper, this is the same thing as y equals negative 1x. So let's start by making sure we know it's the same thing as y equals negative 1x. Mm -hmm. Anytime you have a negative by itself, it says it means negative 1x. So we're going to start by writing y equals negative 1x on our paper. So this is the same thing as y equals negative 1x. So what is our first input value? What's the first number we need to plug in? Abraham. 10. Better yet, we need to plug in? Negative, negative. negative 10. So we're going to plug in negative 10 to our rule. So we're going to have y equals negative, negative, negative 1. And what does it mean when they're touching? Multiply. Oh, Multiply. Wow. So we're going to do negative 1 times negative 10. So what is negative 1 times negative 10? How much is it? Oh, Wait, Abraham? Ten. Hold on. We got all, it's not all one time. Negative 9. It's 10. Nine. 10. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to blurt, though. So, Abraham, what is negative 1 times negative 10? 10. 90, 90. Positive 10. So, a negative times a negative is a positive. So, we know two negatives make a positive. So, now, we're going to do the same problem again. So, this time, we're going to plug in. You can raise your hand and tell me, what's my next number I need to plug in? Negative 8. Positive 8. Well, we're going to plug negative 8 into the math problem. And what is negative 1 times negative 8? Positive 8. Good, Bakhtash. So positive 8. Zero. So this time around, we're going to plug in our next one. It's the same problem again. So we're going to take 0 and plug in. So 0, negative 1 times 0 is? Zero. zero. Good. And how about our last one? We plug in 2. Negative 2. Negative 2. Negative two. So we're doing negative 1 times 2, which is negative 2. So now that we have our table complete. We're going to turn our table into a graph. So we have to plot the points and make a graph out of it. So what is the first ordered pair? Who can raise their hand and tell me? What's the first ordered pair on my table? If I were to make an ordered pair of this, an x comma y, what's my first x comma y? Ben. Negative 10 and positive 10. So even though this is written in a table, it's the same thing as negative 10 comma positive 10. It's the same as your x comma y. So now we're going to graph this on our graph. So we're going to do our x value first. Where do we need to start at? From the left. The middle. Thank you, Raj. So we're going to start in the middle because the middle is 0, 0. So for negative 10, do I need to go right or left? Middle. Left. So we're going to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now where do I go for positive 10? Up. 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 Awesome. So we're going to go up 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we're going to put a dot. So we went left 10, and then we went up positive 10. So we're going to start in the middle. So we're going to go left 10, and then positive 10 up. So we always go left and right first, and then up. All right, what's our next point we need to graph? Um, negative 8 and negative 8. And positive 8. So once again, we're going to start in the middle. Anytime we're graphing points, we always start at the origin, 0, 0, which is the middle. So from the middle, we need to go negative 8, positive 8. So where do we go for negative 8, left or right? Left. 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 So we're going to go left 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And, go up. and then go up 8. So we're going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, and we're going to plot our point. Okay, what's our next one we need to graph? Zero, zero. zero, zero. It's going to stay in the middle. It's the origin. You're exactly right. So we're going to put our dot in the very middle. And what is our last point we need to plot? Two, two negative two. So, Bakhtash, where do I go for two, right or left? Right. We're going to go right, 
And then we're going to go down. down. Awesome. So what do we notice about these? These lines, they make a it make a line. That's what should happen. These are linear functions. What does linear sound like? Line. line. They should make a line. So if they don't make a line, you've either made a mistake in graphing the point or you've made a mistake in your math. Okay, so we're going to do the exact same thing for the next one. We're going to take our table of values and complete it, and then we're going to graph it. So we'll do this one together, and then we'll have somebody come up and graph the points on the board. So if I plug in negative 8, so what is negative 8 plus 1? Negative 7. So negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7. So negative 8, maybe if my pens want to work today. So if I plug in negative 2, what are we going to get when we plug in negative 2? Uh, 1. Negative 2 plus 1 negative 1 is negative 1. If you owe your friend $2 but have a dollar, can you pay them back? 1. You still owe them 1, negative 1. What's 2 plus 1? 3. Three. And then how about when we plug in our 8? 9. 9. Nine. Wonderful. Okay, take a moment. Ms. Sikish and I will walk around. Graph your points now. Plot your points on your graph. Now that we have the table complete, graph your points for us, and then we'll have someone come up. Yes, ma'am. Negative at the bottom and positive there. No, that's negative. You're right. No, you're perfect. So positive, negative, positive, negative. Yes, ma'am. So negative 8, negative is up or down. You start in the middle, which is here. So you're going negative 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then where do you go for negative 7, up or down? You need to go negatives, you go down. So negative 8, negative 7. OK, Mercy, so start in the middle. So negative 8, negative 7. So if we start in the middle, we need to go over how much? So we're going to go left 8. And then negative means negatives are down. Oh, perfect. You did in the right spot. Do the next one for me. Negative 2, negative 1. So negative 8, negative 7. So we're going to go. So you're going to go over negative 8. And then where do you go for negative 7, up or down? Down. Perfect. And then graph your point. Yes. Did you graph it? Let me see. Okay, your table's right, and i got to graph it. We're going to go for negative 8, negative 7. So you're going to start at the middle. And which way do you go first? Uh, don't, you don't, well, you don't have to put a dot there. But where are you going to go first? You're going to go, it's okay. You go over negative 8, and then where do you go for negative 7, up or down? So you go left negative, and then negative you need to go down. So you're going negative 8, negative 7. Awesome. So negative 8, negative 7. Good. Two, three. Good. You want to put it up on the board for me? Hold on. Give me one second. I'll let, him, I'll let you put it up, Giselle. Good. Okay, do the next one. Negative two, negative one. So where do you go for negative two, Monica? Left or right for negative? Left. And then where do you go for negative one, up or down? Good. Exactly right. Negative two, negative one. Okay, keep going. Did you finish graphing this one? Okay, so... Giselle's going to come up and put it up on the board for us. We'll see how yours compares to Giselle's. Come on, ma'am. I'll let her do two, then. Do you want to, right here, come do two for me. Right, you can bring your paper. Giselle, you can bring your paper if you'd like. There you go. How about you do two dots, and then we'll let someone else do another two. Don't worry about Did you finish crafting good? So negative two, negative eight. So negative 8. You're right. And then down. How many? You're doing it right. Negative 8 and then go down. Your head. So what does it mean when the negative force is touching that? Mm -hmm. So that one's different. We'll do that one next. Mm -hmm. Good. Very good, Monica. Did you get a graft? Awesome. Can you go good? Good. So after Giselle's done here, we'll go over this one. What? What is? Oh, it's a microphone. So they can hear me. 
Good. Wonderful. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so let's look at what Giselle did here. So the first one, we're starting at the origin. So our x value is negative 8. Which way do we go for negatives? Left. left. So we're going left, 8, and then negative 7 means we need to go down. So when it comes to negatives, we go left and then down. Negative 2, negative 1, starting at the origin, negative 2, negative 1. Positive 2, positive 3, and then positive 8, positive 9, and they should be making a line. Okay. Questions on that one? We, you can draw the line. You don't have to, Abraham, but it's okay. So it would not be wrong if you drew the line. Okay, so let's look at the next one. This one's a little bit different. Vanessa, what did you notice was different about number three? What's different about the equation for number three? So what's the... What is the equation, Vanessa? Read the problem to me. Good. So this one is y equals negative 4 multiplied by x plus 4. So this one's different than the one we just did. The first one we, we just multiplied. The second one we only had to add. But in order to solve this one, we have to do two things. So we have to plug in. So what's our first x value? Negative 2. So we have negative 4. What does it mean when the negative 4 is touching the x? Multiply. Multiply. So we have to do negative 4 times negative 2. And then we have to add 4. So this one's like a two-step. We have to multiply first and then add on the rest of it. So what is negative 4 multiplied eight. by negative 2? Negative 8. No, it's 8. Plus eight. Hold on, Doha. Why is it 8? Because negative and eight, negative equals positive. Good. Two negatives make a positive. So negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. Now we need to take 8 and we have to add 4 onto that. 12. 8 plus 4 is 12. So this one has two steps to it. You have to first multiply and then add. So you have to do order of operations. Multiplication comes before addition. So now what's our next x value we have to plug in? We have to put... Negative so we have to do negative 1. So hold on. So we have negative 4 times negative 1 and then plus 4. So negative 4 times negative 1 is? What's negative 1 times negative 4? 4. And then Vanessa, 4 plus 4 is? 8. You're just kind of ahead of the game. Okay, so now we need to do it again. The third time we do it, we're going to plug in which x number? So what's the next x number we need to use? One. one. So we're just doing the same problem over and over again. So now we're going to plug in one. So negative four times one plus four. So negative four times one is negative four. What are, here's a random question. What's negative four and four? What type of numbers are those? What do, negative and positive. Do we remember what they're called? What's negative four and positive four? Small numbers. What are they called to each other? It's kind of like up and down, left and right. What are those? Oh, I wrote it in my pocket. What are those? Negative, positive. They are, what are, what's a special name for a negative and a positive? Number. Like up and down, happy and sad. What are those called? Increase. Decrease. No. In, well, increase and decrease is an example of them. They are called opposites. Yeah. So remember, negative 4 and positive 4 are opposites, and they equal up to 0. So negative 4 plus 4 is 0. OK, our last one. Lasha, what's our last number we need to plug in? Oh, two. Two. So what is negative four times two? Plus four. Plus four. So what is negative four times two? Zero. Eight. Positive or negative? Positive. Neg negative. 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 So remember, ladies and gentlemen, when your signs are different. Good, Tiba. So if there's only one, it's going to be negative. And what is negative eight plus four? One negative. Ooh, I think about this one. Negative eight Ollie. plus four. four. Negative so, four. negative eight negative plus four. four. How many negatives do we need to have? Four. 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 How many ne in negative eight? How many negatives do we have? Negative eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight negatives. What do we have for four? Four positives. So remember our strategy. If your signs are different, you really subtract them. So our answer is yes, negative four. So 
Now that we have our table of values done, now we need to graph it, just like all the other ones. So what's our first ordered pair we need to graph? We start in the middle. We're going to still start back in the middle. Negative 2, 12. So we're going to start in the middle. We're going to go left. How many? Two. two. And then we need to go uh, up. Two, how many, Kathy? 12. 12. So we're going to go left. Start in the middle again. Left, 2. And then up, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're going to go negative 2, positive 12. OK, Michelle, what's my next one I'm going to graph? Number two, so what's the next one? Negative one, what do we say our y value was though? So if our x value is negative one, our y value needs to be? H. H. So our next point we're going to graph is negative one H. So we're going to go over negative one and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So negative one, positive eight. Okay, take your hood off your head. So now we need to do our next one. So where are we going to go next? So what is one pair with? Make sure your number's right. So one pair is with zero. So we're going to go over one, and zero means we don't move. So it's going to be on the x-axis. It's actually on the horizontal line, positive one, zero. How about two, negative four? So where do we go for the right. down. down. Positive two, one, two, and down four. One, two, three, four. So once again, it should make a line. Questions on that one? No. Is this a number six? I don't understand. Okay. Oh, we'll get to number six. Hold on. Okay, let's look at number four. So y equals x minus five. I see some of you have already started working on this one, which is fine. So give you a minute. See if you can fill in your table and see if you can graph it, and then we'll have come on some, someone come up and do this one here. Okay, so Vanessa's going to come graph number four for us. You want to fill in your table and graph number four? Shh. And then when she's doing that, we can check ours. You did it right. Good, Raj. Can you open it with the next one? And stop. Wait, I have a question. What's the question? That's like, did we do in the very first one? We would put a negative one next to it. So the two negatives are going to turn into a? Right. So then it becomes 2 minus 5. Yeah. This one should be a negative one, though. What's 4 minus 5? 4 minus 5 is negative 1. See how that dot's a little off from the rest? That means you need to go negative 1. And don't forget to fill in your numbers right here for me, too, Vanessa. 1 minus 5. Yeah, so it becomes 1 minus 5. Good. Yeah? No. What's zero minus five? If you if you have zero, can you? There you go, Lasha. Okay, so let's look at this one. So, if you plug in four, Vanessa's telling me it's negative one. Do we like that answer? Yes. Yes. If we plug in seven, seven minus five is two. Okay. The computer said stuck. If you plug in the next one, we end up with 8 minus 5 is 3, 9 minus 5 is 4. And when we graph our points, they make a line. Thank you for coming today. We hope you enjoyed our lesson on functions. Bye. Bye. Bye.